hate Saturday traffic. Bunch of douche canoes, that's what they are, and twat waffles. So what is up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Once again, you know I appreciate having you here. Stick around for today's video. It's a whole load of nothingness. Thank you very much for sticking around. I know you were gripped by the title then, a whole load of nothingness, and that's exactly what it is. It's Saturday, it's uh, 12 o'clock, it's midday now. I finish work early, I finish work at half past 10. I mean, come on. Doesn't always happen, don't judge me, I'm not lazy. It just happens to be one of those days where the hours uh, work in your favor. And it's a gloriously glorious day. So I'm out on the bike. We're just going out for a ride. I've got to stop at Doble's shop to uh, inquire about a few things. And then we're off for a little ride. Don't know where we're going, but I know there's going to be a lot of traffic because it's a Saturday and everyone and their mother comes out on a Saturday, especially if it's sunny. And it's the last weekend of the school holiday. So I'm expecting bad driving and uh, lots of it. Lots of it. But hopefully we won't get killed main door. Just grazed. We won't even get grazed. We just have a great time. Just you and me and my motorcycle. That's what it's all about. Oh yeah, weekend cyclists, boo to you. Not that I mind, it doesn't bother me at all. But it holds up the cars and the cars hold up me. I blame the cars, the cars blame the cyclists. Who do the cyclists blame? The wind, I suppose. If the wind's in your face, it slows you down. So all this is down to mother nature. Don't do a left. Oh, why are all the slow cars going left? Dispatched. I want to do a left here, but this road was closed earlier in the week, so do we risk it for a biscuit? Yes, we do. And because this plonker is going right, that will suit me down to the ground. Where are you going? You are turning right to park over there. Yeah. Oh, no! You're actually going around the traffic somewhere where you could have fitted without indicating. Maybe the indicator makes him wider. If I indicate, I can't fit. If you just drive, you can. It's better to be safe than sorry, though. I mean, it's not as if two cars could fit through this gap, is it? No, of course not. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. I shouldn't be laughing at bad driving. Well, it's not bad driving, it's safe driving. I'd rather people do that and be cautious than just go, bam, than just blat it through, get it wrong, and smash everyone's cars to bits. So, uh, err on the side of caution, I don't mind that. You can be a little bit too cautious though, that causes danger to people behind you. I mean, if you start braking and slamming on the brakes for no reason, especially when the person behind you has got a bigger vehicle and can get through the gap quite easily, they're not expecting you to brake, so uh, just be a little bit careful about that. Oh, full of education, this channel. It's part of the curriculum, you know. Mr. Fish's driving educational bullshit. I've got to think of a more catchy name though. Where should we go? What should we do? These are the big questions. And they're all going to be answered right here on this channel. Let's just roll down the hill and listen to that beautiful overrun. Oh, you're welcome. stalled you can't drive you stalled again you still can't drive bump start it T turn the key turn the key that's it you can do it you got there in the end he doesn't want to do a left he's just doing that out of embarrassment now it's not a bad view is it I do like that. I don't know what Aston Martin that is, but that's sexy. Nice pearl white as well. Not sure if that's coming out on the camera, but it's got a lovely pearlescent to it. Oh, oh, oh look at that. I found you some brick walls, people. Both sides of oh, stone. Ruined it, ruined it. It needs no words. I know you. I overtook you. Ah, uh, this is Box Hill. I've just left the car park. I've changed the battery in the GoPro. 
and we're going to go and see what's happening at Epsom Downs because it's a derby today. It's going to be busy, but you never know, there might be some sights. But on the way, we're going to take one of my favourite little country lanes. It is Saturday, so don't expect it to be gloriously fast, but there might be a few <laughs> close shaves, you never know. And the bike is sounding absolutely glorious. Isn't it weird? <laughs> I took it easy because it's a Saturday and there's usually loads of cars on that road and that is actually the first time I've been down it with no cars whatsoever. None. Zero. <laughs> that's weird. Ah, that's not good. I needed to go that way. Oh well, looks like we're going a long way around. explains why there was no cars on it no one could get to it this is going to take me about five six miles out of my way I should still try and get to the Derby to Epsom Downs we're just coming in a different way so there might be more traffic this way I don't know I don't know it wasn't my plan all right leave me alone hopefully this road's not closed because if it is I'm going a really really long way so this one might be open keep your fingers crossed for me people keep your fingers crossed if you wait there, you won't have to skim me. Yeah, that woke you up, didn't it? <laughs> you had a little bit of a swerve then. It's like all for waiting two seconds. It's like that's too much effort. Yeah, this road on the right was closed last time I came up here. But it doesn't seem to be this time. Oh, we might get away with it, people. We might get away with it. There we go, bit of off-roading. Oh, that's what it's all about. <laughs> bit of wheel spin. Oh, it's all good fun people would be parking around here to walk to the derby because Epsom Downs is just the other side of these trees oh, it's a little bit of a walk but a lot of people come here to the pub and then walk down to the downs walk down to the downs or walk up to the downs or walk over to the downs however you get to the downs they will go that way because it's probably about 20 quid a day to park in the car park or the makeshift car parks around there and people are too tight they will park here because they don't want to pay the 20 pounds and then go in there and give it all the big one because they're drinking Prosecco in it I'm drinking Prosecco oh I like a nice glass of Prosecco me oh I like to splash out treat myself spray myself orange glass of Prosecco oh lovely I do like it the walkers are out these are the people that walk because they don't want to pay or live in the local villages did you think I meant zombies definitely not zombies they will be by the end of the day when I've had a few drinks they'll all be like zombies just laying in the gutter come on give me room marvellous oh, that's what bike life's about people and here we go this is the world famous Derby. I've got to be careful though, because probably half these people are drunk already. Better be careful, it's the Popo. See, it's manic up here.
I used to live around here. I used to hate this weekend, people invading. <laughs> I took it personal. I don't know why. I really shouldn't have cared. But I took it personal, because when you're coming home from work and there's so much traffic, and you've got all these traffic warden type, sort of like, think they're policemen, people, guiding the traffic. And there's a grandstand back there where all the people with money go. And this guy stepped out in front of me with a high visibility jacket on, thinking I'm gonna stop by sticking his hand out like that because uh, a limousine needed to come out. He nearly got run over that day. It wasn't his greatest day at work. I just went for him. I thought, I'm not stopping. I live around here. I'm a local. So get out of the way for local people. Anyway, that was that. Not that exciting, but there you go. A little bit of local information for you. The Epsom Derby. For those of you into horse racing, you will know what that's all about. For the rest of us that don't really give a shit about horses and horse racing because it's cruel, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to end the video here. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, to do all those things that you need to do. Also, hit that notification bell so you can get the drop on these videos. I shall see you on the next one. You know I love you all. Stay safe. Fish out. Get all your bags. Get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead, get, get gone. gone. Get all your bags. Get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead and get gone.